Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Solomon Bailey, online tag name Halonix76. And today we're going to try and take this very large base with just air support. And what we're going to wind up really doing is crashing a couple planes and breaking some physics. Which is going to get pretty interesting and pretty darn epic. So sit back and let's get to it. When I first got over here, I was planning on taking and doing this all with the helicopter, but as you see, I falter right there in my flight pattern because I saw some jets. And I hadn't come across any jets in the game yet. I've had to deal with them attacking me, but this is my first opportunity to actually use a jet, so I was all up for it. As you see, I almost crashed the helicopter right there. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can actually see a circle, which I'm about to crash into. I was getting pretty excited, that's why I kind of crashed into it, because I realized that I could actually drop bombs. All right, let's get to this thing again. So we're going to take this jet here. And they, wait a minute. This has guns, not bombs. That's not the right jet. So I hop out, start looking around. The jet goes backwards and obviously off the back of the cliff. I find the right jet. And now we're going to go try and destroy some things. And right here I'm thinking to myself, let's not crash the plane again. So I decided to try and get turned and then turn, try and pull up. And that caused me to do an actual proper bank. So I'm kind of learning here how to fly those jets. Alright, bombs away. And there, now I'm actually starting to hit stuff. I'm starting to get the hang of it. But I did, did kind of realize at this point that hitting those big giant spires that are in my way, in my flight pattern, I can't bomb those. So I start using this. Thanks. 
This is the hit that actually did some damage right here. Just watch, racking them up. Destroying half the base in one hit. It was a good idea, it was a good plan, but it didn't work as well as I thought. You'll see in a second. Okay, then just missed that. Put me off my line. Thought I was going to crash right into the ground, but nope. I kind of break the physics and bounce off the ground. I don't think a normal plane can do that. This is where the Sam's finally gets it good hit on me. And I realized that I couldn't drop any bombs, shoot any missiles, I was pretty much just crashing. So it was uh, time to bail out. I did it right at the right time because I was at the end of the runway, just pick up another plane. Which would be a great idea and a very easy thing and just take off and start doing it again, but if you notice my heat level is already at four. And this is where things get really, really interesting. Because I get in the plane, but there's tanks everywhere. And other cars and other vehicles. So I try to take off. I get stuck in this car. And I do get off the ground, but I'm in a flat spin, just heading straight up. And you can see even that the cameras get glitching out right here. And I'm thinking, and watch the speed meter really, really closely. Because if you notice, the plane had been able to get up to about 300. Right now, you're bre I'm breaking four. And if you're breaking four, you're going really fast and like really slow like that instrument is doing right now. There's no way Rico would be able to be alive. But it gets even more interesting. If you're watching, you just barely see it start popping up at five. Meaning he's going over 500 miles. And then it'll get even worse, and it'll hit six. So keep an eye on that. Hit six. You see the six there? Well, that's when the plane has said, I've had done, I'm down, I'm crashing. <laughs> Basically, the plane had hit its terminal velocity. <laughs> so this is where the plane starts going down. I definitely broke the physics on a takeoff. And there is no way Rico could have survived that at all but anyway my name is solomon bailey online tag name halonix 76 i'd like to thank you all for watching and i'm going to try and swim to the surface make sure you guys hit the like and the subscribe and maybe i'll even get to touch the boat You know, there's a lot of boats just floating around here randomly in the middle of nowhere. Especially for a jet ski. Wouldn't they have run out of gas by now? How long before you actually get madness from being at sea too long? That's long enough. We're all mad here. How far away is that? Holy freaking crap.
and there is another jet ski that's gonna hit me which has a nun on it yes nuns can jet ski too they can have fun In view of what authority? There's nobody out here. Just being the birds. You know, there is a lot of birds out here for being so far away from land. Or are those bats? Oh my god, why didn't I pick the jet ski? Only 21 knots. 22. Still. It's gonna take forever. Woohoo, 25. Pirate's life for me. I wish I knew the whole song. God, let that be the rig in that distance. Come on, oil rig. You know, there's a little bit of a metaphor here about how my subscribing has actually been happening on my channel with how long it's taking for me to get to land. I think I have six. I've had my YouTube for almost seven months. No, nope, almost nine months. I have six. I guess I'm traveling at 20 knots on YouTube.
What? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Want pepperoni? Yes, please, pepperoni would be great. It's taking me forever. I could, I could use some food. Do we have any drink? Do we have any drink? Can you give me some tea? Sweet tea would be great. What other kind of tea do you have? Thank you, my dear. I'll be fine. Yeah, this is going to be the boring part of the YouTube video, but I am totally committed to actually showing you how long it took to drive the boat all the way back for a reason. Just wait for it. We're almost at the end of the video. Got about two minutes left. By the way, I really think that hormone Hormel makes one of the best pepperonis. Ah, that's what we should have got today. String cheese. String cheese and pepperoni. Just wrap pepper pepperoni around the string cheese. It's delicious. You can actually see the oil rig finally. I love how the music got so dramatic. And now that I'm getting close to the oil rig, the music has changed. It's becoming more of like the calming, which we call it, but it's like so dramatic for a second. All right, now all I have to do is park the boat and get out. Back it up. All right. You know what? I'm going to park it up here because I do what I want. My point was, though, I could have fast traveled the whole time. <laughs> 